Okay, for this exercise, what we're going to do is learn how to use the spot healing brush. So by going to File and clicking on Open, we're going to create, click on the image that we want, open it up, and then we're going to zoom in. Now to zoom in, you can press Control Plus until you zoom into the area that you want to look at, and Control Minus to zoom back out again. Now the reason why you do that, and also hold the space bar to move around, is just to make it easier to see what we're working with, and then we'll zoom back out to see what it looks like. Now you're going to create a new layer, and with that new layer, what you're going to do is be a blank layer. So if you hold Control Shift and N, that'll create a new layer. Click OK, or if you need to, you can also just click on the little new layer icon in the bottom left hand corner there, which will create a new layer. So once you've done that, what you want to do is click onto your spot healing brush and then move over to where you can see these blemishes here. Very important, make sure that you've got sample all layers turned on. And what that'll do is on this layer one is put the little blemish and fix the blemish that you have there and also reduce your file size as well. Very important that you do that. So spot healing brush is very simple. All you need to do is just start clicking and Photoshop does a great job of sampling the information around it to make the areas that you're working on actually fill in and look as natural as possible. So it's really important that you try to sample. As you can see, that little ring that you've got around there, I need to make my brush bigger. So what I'm doing is I'm using the bracket keys, which are just beside the letter P in your keyboard. Use the left one to make it smaller. Use the right one to make your brush size a bit bigger. So it's really important that you try to sample just a little bit bigger than the area that you're working with. And by doing that, it'll help you get a nice good sample of the skin area around you to make sure that the actual skin looks reasonably well. Now I don't like getting rid of blemishes like that or actual spots or natural age spots. It just helps to make the image look a little bit more realistic. If you happen to go too far overboard by sampling too much, it actually starts to look very, very fake. So you want to keep some of these inconsistencies on the face back in there and it'll actually make it look a little bit more realistic. So as you can see, I've just quickly gone around and I've been clicking in areas where I think it needs a little bit of work. I need to probably make my brush a little bit smaller now for some of these more delicate areas. So I'll just make it a little smaller. Sample some of these information, a little bit of area here, just to make it look a little bit better. Okay, so that's actually looking reasonable. Now to actually see how it's turned out, what you can do is if you click on Control and zero, that'll take you back to 100%. Now if I turn the layer visibility off on our layer, you can see there's the original, there's a the sample layer. You can see there's still some imperfections through here, but that's fine because we want to keep some of those just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And the blemishes on there look like a natural teenager. So there you are, that's using a spot healing brush to actually clean up pimples and skin blemishes.